This time we are in Train Simulator. Haven't been in this game for a while. So what we're going to be doing is taking the S7 stock from Neesden to Baker Street. This service is um, running light, so no passengers. A straight run straight through from Neesden to Baker Street. So we've got a couple of minutes to get the train set up. So let's get going. I've got a bit of screen tear in there. I do have V-Sync on. Let's put the key in. Put the trip lock on there. Let's get the light on. Um, I don't remember what the... Um, it didn't give me a duty number. Or maybe it did. I'll just put anything in there for the moment. I do know the train number is 405. Let me confirm that. Uh, we're not in service. 999. Confirm. And there we are. Not in service. Train 405. Metropolitan line. Let's check it outside. And there we are, 405 not in service. Right, um, 20 seconds before we can go. Got the alarm running. Press Shift E. Get rid of that. That puts our dead man's handle in the right position. I think we'll get going. Now I do have the sound mod on this um, train. we're going to have to stop just around the corner it's a very sneaky uh, signal here look I think I've accidentally pressed my um, on the trip lock yeah I thought I accidentally pressed it Right, so we've got a passage. That's not a very good place to put a sign, is it? Look at that, right in front of the signal there. See it? Right, let's go and have a look at the train while we're waiting. Traffic lights are on. So we're just going to be waiting for the uh, signal to change. Here we go. Now I know we can go 15. 
There's a speed sign just around the corner. Just about to see it there, look. Yep, 15. And apparently you don't have to wait for the um, speed sign to hit the rear of the train before you can speed up. Not like you do when you're driving the overground trains. Apparently I was told that the underground, you do it when the, uh, the front of the cab passes the sign. speed I don't remember seeing a sign to speed up to 40 I've got one for 60 oh, come on then let's get moving yeah there's been an occasion where I've done this scenario I've got into the tunnels near Baker Street I've requested uh, to pass the signal at danger I've been given access to pass as I go to pass it I get a spag. Now this first part of the scenario is not too bad because there's some nice gaps between the uh, signals as we get towards the end it gets a little bit more uh, tricky there's lots of those um what are they called repeater lights so you've really got to be on the ball and sometimes this scenario has been a little bit unfair on me by um, not playing the game as it were sometimes i've had a red signal i've asked to um permission to go past it I get the permission as soon as I go over the red light it's bad If I already mentioned that I do have the sound mod on this, but I haven't yet purchased the um, Metropolitan Enhancement Pack, which recently came out by Just Trains, so I will be getting that very shortly. I think we've now got announcements on that, for various other enhancements. Now look at the. Uh, the heads up display look at all them signals so I'm going to be concentrating a bit more well wow. slow down talking away and I wasn't looking at the speed all these signals look there's quite a few of them got a 30 speed limit coming up I 
orange light there. Oh, we got a green light. There's an orange light. See what I mean, guys? You've got to be on the ball with this one. And there's another light just there. Green. See, look, on the platform there. And then there's another green light just inside the tunnel there. I'm wondering if it's because we caught up with that train that we watched. Look, we've got an orange light there on the ground. Well, we can only do 30, so I'm going to do 15 maximum. There's so many lights. Because trust me, it is easy to... Uh, go past them, they just catch up on you so quickly. Got another orange light, or yellow is it, amber, whatever you want to call it. See it. I think it would help if the lights were a bit brighter. You've got to be honest, they're not really that bright. Not until you get really close up to them. I wonder if it's like that in real life or whether they're actually really brighter than they are in the game. Orange light, meaning the next one could be a red. And that light is just around the corner. See? See, the lights are not very bright, are they? Look, the green. There was one just here. Yep, there is another one. We've got a green light there. tell you what it really is quite intense this little scenario it's only 20 minutes long with all the lights all the signals what have we got coming up is it the green yeah we've got a green
That last one was green. much as you want to uh, you know speed along you just can't there's a light there it is it's green twenty five speed limit Signal. There we are, red light, is it? Yep, look at that, red light. Right, you're my witness, we can pass signal at danger approved. Now that one behaves. Yeah, it lets me go through. I'll show you where the problem one is. I suppose it depends what time you get here because there's a train pulling out at Baker Street. I think I've accidentally pressed, um, yeah. Desk on the keyboard, which turns that around. Whoops. It's times like this, I wish I had a rail driver. Going downhill, so I've got to watch the speed. I don't want the signals, but there's several signals coming up. I can see it already. I think this is a red one. Yep. Now look at this signal, right? And now it's changed green. That is the problem one. Trust me. I've been here before. It's been red. I've asked if I can get permission, you know, to proceed. I've been given the go ahead. Another green light there, is that a green light? Yep. And yeah, as soon as I bloody pass it, it spads me. I'll tell you what, we've got another light here coming up. See, look, you've got to be careful, I tell you. There's one right on the right there, look on the ground. our train coming out. Oh dear, I tell you, it's really intense, this uh, little scenario. Now, I don't think this one changes to green automatically. I think I do have to uh, request... Oh, it does, it does, right. Right. So yeah, like I said, on that last signal, 
that gives me the spad. I'm not sure if it's a bug. It has to be. Why would it tell me I can go through? And then when I go through, it punishes me. Well, anyway, we're home and dry. We got through. Cracking little scenario really keeps you on the ball. This one does. Only a little 20 minute job. Going light from Neesden to Baker Street. But crikey. you got to watch them little signals. There's lots of them. And we don't want to spoil it by crashing through the barriers at the end. get as close as possible without crashing stop that will do we did it guys we did it oh we got through all the way from Neesden Now, I don't know what passengers are doing on the train. Typical dovetail games, isn't it? Is that a dovetail game thing? Because it's a Just Trains add-on. I've noticed whenever you pull out from sheds or from sidings, you've always got passengers on the, on the train. Anyway, great run driver. You know what's annoying? When you click the, uh, the cross there to get rid of that message, it takes you back to the menu. It would be nice if it could just disappear and let you just, you know, walk around and explore. Well, I know you can't walk around like you can in Train Sim World 2, but, you know, if you could just fly around without that, that little message in the way. Right, well, there we are. We did it. Nice little scenario, that. So I should click this. Yeah, and then it takes you straight back to the menu. Speed in three times, yeah, I do accept that. Because I was chatting away, not paying attention. Right, there we are. That was 14 miles, that run. 23 minutes. So, uh, we didn't spad. We kept our eye on the ball as far as the signals were concerned. Yeah, there we go then. Right, I'm going to leave it for that one. And uh, until the next time, take care, cheerio, and bye for now. Thank you.